Bird, Lynch, Sister Daphne Henry. A woman that really loved the Lord. She always have a song on her heart. And always like to read the word of God. And we are here today. And it's my great condolence to the family and friends. Pray that God will give you all the strength to carry on. Let not your heart be troubled. God bless each one of you in Jesus' name. Church. <laughs> 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 
I know God, the great I am, creator of all things, visible and invisible. In the name of thine only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, another time, O God, we come before the mercy seat. Lord, as I come, I present before you all who are gathered here, whose hearts are heavy, who feels, O oh Lord, that because of the loss of a loved one, that things have gone a little bit dim. I'm asking you, Father, that your Holy Spirit will now be a comforter to them. I pray, O oh God, that the, the void in their hearts because of her absence will be replaced with the fond memory that they will be able to cherish them and that they will be able to look back on all the positive things of our dear departed sister, Sister Daphne Henry. I pray, oh God, that you will keep them, <coughs> that you will keep their minds and that the peace that passeth all understanding will be granted unto them. Yeah. There will be times, oh God, when they will feel sad and lonely. But I pray, oh Father, that as they remember the laughter and the positive things and the contribution that she's made to their lives, because surely she has touched every life that has been that are gathered here today. And I pray, oh God, that they'll remember those things and they will also take comfort from them. <coughs> but most of all, oh Father, I pray that their greatest comfort will come from knowing that your daughter has died in Christ, that she lived a life unto God, that the things of God gave her joy. She walked the straight and narrow way, that she took her comfort and her peace, even during the times when her body was afflicted with pain, knowing that she had a healer, knowing that she had a deliverer, knowing that she had a savior who was <coughs> Jesus Christ. And because our faith in God never wavered, because our faith in God didn't wax cold, even through her trying times, she continued to look to you and to hold you. Pray, I pray, oh God, that they will remember her faith and be comforted. The songs of Zion that she sang, she always had her hymn book, she always had her Bible open. I pray, oh God, that the legacy that she's left, her life before Christ, will be a comfort to her family because truly she died believing that she will be raised one day from the dead and that she will be caught up in the rapture. And truly, Lord, we believe that. And so we take hope in that. We take comfort in that. I pray, oh God, Thank that you. you will continue to be a comfort to her daughters, her sons, her grandchildren, her husband, every friend, relative. I pray, Father, that they will be like David and they will say, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help, my help cometh from the Lord. Yes. I pray, God, you will be a help to them in their dark and trying times, but also, Father, that they will have these memories to cherish. So comfort them and be with them. This I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Praise God. You may be seated. To the family, relatives and friends, on behalf of my auntie and for my dad, I will read this verse of scripture from Ecclesiastes chapter 4. Reads as follows. So I returned, hold on, chapter 3. 
chapter 3. To everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill. A time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. What profit has he that worketh in that wherein he laboreth? I have seen the travail which God has given to the sons of men to be exercised in it. He has made everything beautiful in his time. Also he has set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. I know there is no good in them but for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life. And also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of God. Amen. Final verse. I know that whatsoever God does, he shall be forever. Nothing can put it, can put to it, nor anything taken from it. And God does it. That men should fear before him. Here endeth the reading of God's words. Amen. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I know that my Redeemer liveth. Amen. 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 Before I sing this special song um, in tribute to my aunt, I would like to say on behalf of my mother, Mrs. Dory Fletcher, and my family members who are here, cousins to Aunt Betty, our deepest condolences to our family members, to our elders. And, but thanks be to God, from the faith that our aunt stand in, we stand and we look forward to the day when his coming will bring us all together again. In the meantime, this song that I will sing is to comfort our hearts. Yes.
we all love very much we miss. I'm just going to start off with by reading <coughs> Thessalonians, <coughs> Thessalonians chapter 4 from the New International Version Bible. Living to please God. As for other matters, brothers and sisters, we instructed you how to live in order to please God. And in fact, you are living. Now we ask you and urge you in the Lord Jesus to do this more and more. For you know what instructions we gave you by the authority of the Lord Jesus. It is God's will that you should be sanctified, that you avoid sexual immorality, that each of you should learn to control your own body in a way that is holy and honourable. Not in passionate lust like the pagans who do, who do not know God. And the end is now, no one should grow and was acquired by the shock of the system. The Lord will punish all those who commit such things as we told you at the end of the day. For God did not call us to be with you, but to live a whole life. And therefore, anyone who rejects the system is still in the project of the human being, but God is. The best, the very God who gives you his own spirit. Now about your love for one another, we do not need to write to you. For you yourselves have been taught by God's love and And in fact, you do what God's family throughout Macedonia, yet you heard him from the cities to do so on one hand. And to make it your ambition, because you were quite right, you should mind your own business and work with your hands as if you've been told. So that you're taking the right hand. With the respect of outsiders, so they will not be dependent on anybody. Brothers and sisters, we do not need to be uninformed about those who seek revenge, so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind. For we believe that he will die once again, and so we believe that God will bring the good to those who have more than seek revenge. Thank you. Thank you.